Hey everyone, it's Julian. So today I'm going to try to show you how to do a tee shot. Um, so, first order of business, you got to sanitize your hands. So I mean, I, you know, I do this much, it doesn't really matter. You can just use hand sanitizer too. This is the fancy kind. Um, so, um, next you got to get out all your supplies, which I actually already did here, but you got to sanitize your hands before you do that. So just to let you know what supplies you need. So the first thing is you need a, let's see, is that the small one? The big one? You need a 22 gauge needle. That's an inch long. Gosh, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know how good my phone's going to be about focusing. But yeah, 22 gauge times uh, one inch. And that's going to be the thicker needle. That's going to be what you use to extract the testosterone. Um, and then you're going to switch needles for the actual injection. Yeah, so it's actually the smaller the number, the thicker the needle. So the other needle is 25 gauge. This one's an inch, but usually I like it, or I previously ordered it as like 5 eighths inch of an inch. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a smaller needle, and this is going to be what you use to inject, and it's really small, it's really not bad. Um, then you're going to need a syringe. This one's one milliliter, you could probably do it even smaller than that. So, I think the average amount of tea that most, um, transmasculine people take is like 0.25 to 0.3 milliliters a week. Um... So, I mean, obviously, if you have one, a syringe that's less than a milliliter, it's going to be easier to see the measurement. But this one's nice because it just goes up by um, tenths of a milliliter, as you can see. Uh, if you can see it, I hope you can see it. Yeah, it's so like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Um, so, you also need um, some alcohol wipes. You can get them at CVS. Pretty easy. Most important, though is have your primary care provider, like your physician, a nurse practitioner, physician's assistant, prescribe these things and you get them at, you know, some pharmacy because that's cheaper and then you can get it covered by insurance where I don't think you can get it covered if you just, like, go on Amazon. Unless you have a health savings account, then you could probably get reimbursed, but insurance-wise, I think you have to have it prescribed. So then you've got the syringe. And then... I got one of these when I got my first, you know, kit of all this stuff from my university's health center. Um, just because this is good for once you open the testosterone, you can just put it in here. I put it in with like a little, I don't know, bandage or cloth or something just so it doesn't bounce around too much and it's safe or whatever. Um, so then what you're going to do, let's see, it's looking kind of weird. Um, but then you've got your little bottle. This is, gosh, I really can't tell if you can see that. Um, this is testosterone sipionate. This is a one milliliter bottle. And this is pretty much what you're going to use. God, I almost think mine, like, froze a little bit or something. That's so weird. Um... But so, yeah, so then you're going to have that. So then what you need to do is this is the 22 gauge needle. So you're going to just open enough of the wrapper. I'm going to scoot closer because I don't know if you can actually see this. You're going to open just a little bit of the wrapper. There's no need to really touch it with your hands or anything. Then you're going to take the syringe. And this is a lure lock syringe. L-U-E-R dash lock, and this is a lure lock needle. It's just about the way that they screw together. So you're going to insert the syringe, and then you're just going to twist. It's just a quick little twist. You don't have to really force it on there. And then it's got a little cap on it just to protect it um, and yourself. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get one of these alcohol wipes. Open this up. You're going to wipe down. Oops. You're going to wipe down the top of this bottle because normally this bottle will have a little plastic cap on the top um just for sanitary reasons, but once you open it, then it's going to, you know, have this little rubber part and you just have to clean it off every time. 
whatever you do, do not tell your, um, well, do not tell a pharmacist that you reuse these bottles, um, because you're not technically supposed to, um, because they're worried about sanitation and stuff, but really if you wipe off the top, it's totally fine. That's what my primary care provider has had me do. Um, my current one, I don't know if she knows that I <laughs> reuse it more than once, but, um, lots of people do that. It's cheaper. Because I think the cheapest way is to get two one milliliter bottles prescribed each month, and then that's $35. But then I think what my current PCP is doing is she prescribed four half filled bottles a month, which is double. It's like $69. I didn't even pick up that prescription. I'm trying to convince her to do it the cheap way. So, okay. So now you're gonna just stab the middle of this rubber thing. This is such a crummy camera. But yeah, you're just gonna stab the middle of this with the needle. And then you're gonna flip it upside down. And then you're gonna see a bevel, and there's no way that you're gonna be able to see this. I don't think, no matter how close I get. But it's like just a little, uh, like, curvature to the needle, and you'll see the hole in the needle. So you're going to want to face that towards you, and then, you know, you put the bottle up like this. You face the bevel towards you, and then you just start drawing really slowly. Just start pulling the plunger down. Um, let's see. And it's really viscous, which means it's thick, so it's going to take a little while. I don't know if you can, you can probably see it building up a little bit. And you're just gonna keep doing that. It's gonna take a while. Oh, there we go. There's some. And... Boo, boo, boo. Let's see. You usually want to draw more than you need. And then you can always expel some of it later. And you'll have to expel some to get rid of air bubbles. Though you can also flick it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It does take a little while. You'll feel like such a medical professional after you do this a while. Uh, yeah, this one's kind of funky looking. Um, let's see. Okay, just trying to give you a sense of the reality of it. <laughs> I think it depends how full your bottle is too, and this one looks kind of weird. So I think the... This one, I think it's usually, it usually doesn't take this long. Hmm. Okay. I think I have, I think I've filled it enough. So I'm going to push it back, and remember, you're going to want to keep, you're going to want to keep the bottle and everything upside down as you expel it. I'm going to keep pushing, and now, there we go, okay, I'm good. Now I'm going to, you know, hold it away a little bit, because you're going to want to hold it at eye level to make sure that you get it to where you need it. Just like in any science class, you know, where it's like read below the meniscus, you gotta see where the plunger of the syringe gets. Okay, so now I'm at point three. Maybe if I put my hand behind it, it'll be easier to see. I'm at point three right now. So, I'm gonna flip this back down. And then you can take the needle out as quickly as you want. I usually take it out really slow and rock it back and forth so that I don't even lose a drop, which is very stingy and probably doesn't matter at all, but, you know, I don't want to waste any bit of it. Ha, ah, shoot, <laughs> there's a drop. Okay, it's just like a 
tiny bit. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to put it back in here. Now I have used this needle. I'm all set. So I'm going to twist this off. And I also just, I try to get as much as I can out of this as well. And then I have a little sharps box, which I'll show you afterwards, which the Student Health Center gave me. So I'm just going to drop this in there. But I don't want to contaminate my hands by pulling that over to show you. So now I'm going to take my second needle. And I'm going to just open a tiny bit again, just so it's poking out. And then I'm going to, this one I don't mind if I twist a little extra. I mean, you don't have to, but I just get paranoid. And then this one has the protective cap on it as well. And now, I'm going to just set this down on one of the wrappers. I don't ever want the needle to really touch the floor. I mean, it's probably fine, but I'm just, you know, trying to be safe about it. And now, you're going to want to take one of these, and you're going to want to... Um, wipe your stomach down where you do it. Now you get to see my beautiful stomach, but um, so the important thing is you don't want to reuse the same site too much because then it'll start to get bumpy. I think I heard it's some kind of like fatty buildup or something, which I don't think is anything too serious, but it's not great, so you should move around a little bit. I found that like right here is least painful. Um, but so I'm going to be showing you a subcutaneous one, which is into your, like, stomach. Some people do it into their muscles, like their legs, but I heard that hurts like hell. It's up to you. Oh, I also didn't mention I have a band-aid already. Usually, it doesn't bleed that much. Sometimes I can't even find the site and I have to wait. I think, let's see, I'll actually feel, I can feel if there are any, eh, there's a little build up there. I don't know if I've gotten... I don't know if I've done that. Let's see. It might be good to go back to the right side again, because it's been so long. Um, or I could go up. I could probably make this work. So I'm just going to do this upper stomach. Hold on one second. I'm just going to dismiss something. Okay. So I'm going to do this upper part. I probably wipe it way more than I have to, but again, just trying to be as safe as possible. And then I'm just going to leave that. Then I've got my needle. Going to uncap it. I usually I usually listen to music while I do this because it makes it more pleasant. It's something I get excited for. <laughs> and the needle, needle stick is fine. I just like like having music behind it to get me to do it. Um... You don't really need, you only need this hand, but I use this just to hold on to give this hand something to do. And you're supposed to kind of inject at like a 45 degree angle. So like, kind of that. So, um, I feel like my shirt got on that again, so I'm just going to wipe that again. Okay, and then I usually do it to the song beat. <laughs> okay, so one, two... One, two, three, go. And then I use a separate hand to push the plunger in. I do it slow, because I think the slower you do it, the less it hurts. And then sometimes I push the plunger a few times, even after it's there, just to get a few drops. And then I pull it out. There's literally no blood, but I'm going to try to remember where that spot is, because it might bleed a little bit later. Uh... Gosh, did I already lose it? I might have lost it already. Um, let's see. I've got my band -aid. Oh, okay, I found it. There's like a teeny, teeny, tiny drop of blood. It's so hard to see. Um, I don't know if you can hear my cat crying outside the door. Just going to put a band-aid on that just to play it safe. I honestly think the most painful part of this is taking the band-aid off later when it sticks to the hair on your stomach. Um, yeah. And then, okay, cool. I only lost, like, a drop of it, like I usually do. And I'll show you the sharps box. Here's the sharps box. So you just put it in here. Bam. There you go. Then you can bring it to a health center to empty it. 
um, cause it's like biohazardous stuff. And then you can keep these things for art if you want, which is what I'm gonna do eventually. And there's also, I'll show you, this is the cap that's usually on the testosterone, but when it's brand new. Um, and I actually have, I have a box of that. I'll just show you. Let's see. This is the way that it comes. Um, I think I get it from the same company every time. I don't remember. Gosh, I really, is that in focus? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And then you just get that little bottle in it. Um, I hope that answers some questions. I really hope you could see some of that stuff because it's, you know, it's a phone. But if I used my camera, I think it would take 10 years to upload it to YouTube. So please leave any questions or comments. Um, I hope this helps somewhat. All right, thanks. Bye.